Okay, welcome back to the finale of Tales of Zoya. Last time we finally got out of what you call it? Olympias? Yeah, that's right. And now I was gonna do a lot of side stuff, huh? Hmm. I think there's something to do in here, Kara. So you know what? Let's get all the side stuff out of the way and then go to the final boss. What's this? Welcome home, Lord Maxwell. Where is everyone? Dead. They, they were besieged by a spirit. Muse attacked this village after you died. Oof. She did what? I'm so sorry. I couldn't do anything. Nor could I. In that regard, I am no better. Tell me the extent of the damage. Of course. Surprise, Ivor did nothing. So she killed the elders. I feared that she might. You did? They were the ones who had heard stories of the schism. Muse said her duty was to kill everyone who knew about it. But the elders only passed down stories. They had no idea that they were true. There was no reason to kill them over it. I think Muse has lost sight of what she needs to do. We have to stop her. That is my duty. Big oof. Hard news for Prin. Who's Prin? We should probably tell Prin about Agria. Oh. Yeah. It's the least we can do. I hope she's still at the medical school. Right, that nurse girl. In Fenmont. Is that all? Is that... Uh, okay, uh, what else is there? There's also something in Canbalar. Shadow stalkers. Peach elephant tusk. Okay, you know what? Uh, let's go to Canbalar. I think Jude said something about being worried about the empty throne. So, guess we'll go to the palace. You gotta be kidding me. I'm just charging what I gotta charge to stay in business. Hey, things are tough for everyone. We can't afford to pay these prices. Hey, hey, let's all calm down. Now let's fight. What? You're taking the soldier's side? I can't believe this. Stop it. Carla. Carla. Hey, I know you. You're close with his highness. What exactly is your connection to Gaius? He just summons me here sometimes, that's all. Uh -huh. I heard he was away, so I came to see if everything was all right. Well, you were certainly right to be concerned. I'm afraid so. With King Gaius and the Chimeriad gone, the domestic stability of Aljul is beginning to unravel. But I still can't believe that things have regressed this far, this quickly. It's simply pathetic. Is it that bad? Clearly, the weak must be tended to, constantly, or they'll disrupt everything. I guess it's too much to ask for everyone to grow strong. It's hopeless. Hold on! Maybe they'll never know what it's like to be as strong as Gaius, but that doesn't make them hopeless. How can you deny it? You see what's happening here. My brother Erston sacrificed his family for these people, and this is what happens? Wait, what? You're Gaius's sister? Ooh. Yes, you wanted to know Gaius's real name? It's Erston Outway. I believe that my brother forged his philosophy partly as a way to atone for what he did to me. That's why he wanted to be the king. And because of that, I thought I could forgive him. But looking at this, I don't know anymore. If this is what his efforts amounted to, then give me my brother back!
Hey, come on. If the guard's undermanned, I can help out. I, I know my way around a sword. But only official soldiers are allowed to fight. Hey, it's obvious we're gonna need some help to get through this. Listen, I'll talk to the other unions about the skyrocketing food prices. But if this situation drags on, things will only get worse. That doesn't mean you can't do anything about it. The boy is right. Forget about what we can't do and let's focus on what we can. Dude. I hate to say it, but I think we have to face the facts. Everything King Gaius did was for naught. Are you sure about that? Lady Carla, we may not be the kind of people that King Gaius would consider strong. But that doesn't mean we can't do for ourselves the same things that he's always done for us. I want to know that I've done everything that I can, so I can hold my head high when King Gaius returns. Thank you, all of you. So Carla's story. If the news of my identity spreads, it will only make trouble for King Gaius. We'll probably never see each other again. But I'm glad I was able to meet all of you. Farewell. I suppose we should be going ourselves. Jude, seeing you follow your own path has helped me erase any doubts I had about mine. Maybe that's the same thing Gaius felt when he first met you. Ooh. Jude is important. So Carla, Carla had a fiance from a from a tribe, and then during the Battle of Fezabel, that dude messed up, causing a lot of deaths. So Gaius chose to kill him, and so to make up for that, to Carla, he chose to become king. And by becoming king, he abandoned his family. Where am I going? Fenmont. <laughs> here. Prin, I'm glad to see you're still here. By all rights, I shouldn't be. Not after I betrayed Rashigal to its enemy. But with the world as it is now, we're getting scores of injured patients every day. At the very least. I wanted to fulfill my obligations as a nurse. That is truly admirable. Fortunately, conflicts between the nations of Riza Maxia are the last thing on anyone's mind now. Yeah, especially now that Gaius is running Rashigal too. Yes, I talked to King Gaius myself recently. He told me that Miss Nadia was dead. So you knew? Yes. He was kind enough to tell me personally. I was shocked that he even knew I was Lady Nadia's lowly servant. That is most impressive. I'm sorry, Prin. I wish we could have done more to save her. You don't need to say that. To be honest, it was painful seeing Miss Nadia filled with such contempt. I know this may sound horrible for me to say this, but part of me is glad to know she's finally freed from her hatred, even if it's through death. Oof. I've seen her truly smile when she held Bobo. Seeing that made her usual misery all the harder to bear. Prin, I'm sorry. It's never easy, is it? Oh, yikes. Um, I'm pretty sure there's another subquest, but... Ugh. You know what, I have to go, <laughs> I have to go check the last video. <laughs> uh, I really don't remember. I don't know. Uh, this one. Hmm. Is 
there's the Gaius one, then the Neocara. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was one more. 80% sure. Ah, oh, right, there's a Balin one. And another one, a land rife with memories. Fezabel Marsh? Wasn't that the site of a famous battle between Rashigal and Ajul? Yes. Twenty years ago. It's a place that looms large in my life. If we go there, I may remember things that are perhaps best forgotten. That's right. You were part of that war. I'm sorry. Worried up at just Giselle. So many. I wonder what Giselle is doing now. She's probably busy missing you. I do hope the loss of Lord Klein hasn't been too hard on her. Any more? Okay, so there's Fesbal Marsh, Balin, and Giselle. Let's go to Balin. That's a big house. I had another one. Pop quiz! How many people do you think live in one of those giant houses in Triglath? Have you always liked pop quizzes this much? I've never noticed after all this time. Oh, I know. Did your love of pop quizzes awaken while I was dead? She's always liked pop quizzes. Oh. What the heck? <laughs> Mila? <laughs> First of all, Balin. Oh, what's this? Have you heard the news? The Sven family finally settled on a new patriarch. Took them long enough. Didn't the old patriarch die in that Zenithra accident 20 years ago? Along with his wife, son, and younger brother. Talk about a tragedy. Hey, the real tragedy was the heirs fighting for his title. That sure wasn't pretty. That only lasted what, close to two decades? Nothing like a family feud to brighten up a day. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about it. You wouldn't want to be anywhere near when me and my daughter-in-law fight. Definitely wouldn't want to see that. Svent? Hey, Alvin? Yep, that's my family. They're pretty famous here in Olympias. And where does Gillen fall? He was my dad's little brother, and the head of one of the lesser Svent lines. He always resented my family for having the stronger position in the line of succession. But then my dad died in the accident that left us stranded on Rizamaxia, leaving a young me and my helpless mother to fend for ourselves. And Gillen saw that as a chance for revenge. Worse. He took advantage of the situation and tried to legally steal my claim to the family leadership. He used the Svent name to create Exodus and push the Otherworld Reactor Plan. All so that when he eventually came back to Olympias, he could claim the family mantle for himself. He spent 20 years scheming from a whole other world? Yep. Even I got to admire my uncle's persistence. So if we hadn't stopped him... I'd probably have been erased the moment his plan succeeded. What about now? Are you gonna go back home? You heard the ladies. There's no place for me there anymore. Besides, I've been a feral dog for too long now. I couldn't rejoin the noble elite. Then... You're all stuck with me. <laughs> oh. Ho! Oh. You could at least try to hide your disappointment. <laughs> In conclusion, Gilland is a douchebag. I imagine you must know lots of embarrassing stories about Alvin. I do. In fact, embarrassing stories might be the only Alvin stories I know. <laughs> this I gotta hear. Shall I tell you one? One more word and you're dead to me forever. <laughs> well now, this is a conundrum. I know. How about a bet? Truly, an Olympian's answer to everything. Now, now, Alfred, you know better than that. 
Gambling is a long and proud Olympian tradition. It has some bad points, but it has good ones too. Would we be betting money? Certainly not. We can choose to bet anything we like. For example, we could bet on whether or not you can find a light leaf clover. A light if you can, you win. And I'll air out some of Alfred's dirty laundry. What's a light leaf clover? It's a clover with golden leaves that grows on the sides of roads. Olympians consider it a good luck charm. I've heard they won't screw along Rasal High Road. Then this should be a piece of cake. You got yourself a bet, buddy. So betting is a hollowed Olympian tradition? I'm a little intrigued myself. Okay, let's go check out Rusal High Road. Hey, wait a minute. It's been ages since a light leaf clover was seen on the high road. And some say they might be extinct. Alfred, are you really going to waste my magnanimity? <laughs> this is why I hate gambling. Alvin hates gambling? Very surprising. Oh, right. I think that was um, a skit where he's like, don't gamble unless you're putting it all on the line or something. Sounds like our best chance to find a light leaf clover is on the Rusal High Road. It's a clover with sun colored leaves, right? Let the hunt begin. Sure, let's do it. Uh, there's another subquest here, wasn't there? Something about. At least at buildings here. I don't know. Oh, here there we go. was a family of cows beneath the tree at the top of the hill, with one bull and two sows. That's Musée's voice. I thought Musée was with Gaius. We should check inside. No, wait. There's a human in there with her. We need to be careful. When Billy found them, he said, "Hey, which one's the wife and which one's the mistress?" What kind of story is this? What are you doing? Let's go. Nani? Where's Muse? I know she was here. I don't know. Are you friends of hers? Did Muse leave already? Are you okay? You seem a little bit off, Granny. Not me. Muse must have gone out the window. Are you better now? Yes, sweetheart. Thank you. Your eyes. I appreciate your concern, dear. She's blind. Can you see us? I can sense you. I may be blind to light, but I've learned how to see other things. I need to ask you something. I know Muse was here. What was she doing? Before I answer, could you explain to me why you're so interested in her? Well... Mia is Muse's sister. Elise. Shh. Let's just make this easy for everyone, okay? Muse's sister? Yes. Very well, since it sounds like you don't mean Muse any harm. I first met her five years ago, when my daughter and I were involved in a terrible accident. Muse happened to be there, and she saved my life. Unfortunately, my daughter was not so lucky. She saved your life? <laughs> she told me she only did it on a whim. But even though I had survived, I had lost my will to live. My beloved daughter, who had read to me every day, was gone. But one day, I asked Muse if she would read to me instead. And she said yes? She did. But I could tell that she hated it at first. Just another of her whims, I suppose. No way! I can't believe it. She is a very kind girl, you know? And a little bit timid, but I suppose that's true of most girls her age. I'm sure you have your reasons for chasing her. I certainly won't try to stop you. But if I may, I'd ask that you please try not to hurt her. Mila? I understand how you feel. Good. That's wonderful. Why are you smiling? I'm just relieved to hear that. 
Wow, that is... That's pretty important to Buse's character. <laughs> and that's a subquest? <laughs> Likes it shows that Buse find is... a way to push the Otherworld reactor plan forward. Were you involved in the plan's creation? Hmm? And who might you all be? Oh, we're from Riza, Max. I'm a relative of Gilland Yul's event. I was hoping you could educate this group about the Otherworld Reactor Plan. You're with Gilland? Oh, I apologize for my rudeness. I work at the Department of Otherworld Affairs. Figured it'd go smoother this way. I, I assume your department deals with issues related to Riza, Max, yeah? Correct. As you're no doubt aware, we Olympians have passed down legends of another world since antiquity. Every kid knows the story of the spirit Maxwell and the utopia he created for his followers, Riza Maxia. But from around the time I was born, scholars and politicians started taking that story seriously. Correct. That was because we detected an unusual distortion in space. Our research suggested that vast amounts of energy could be circulating beyond the distortion. That discovery led to the creation of the Department of Otherworld Affairs' predecessor, the Next Gen Energy Bureau. They developed equipment to widen the distortion and study what was on the other side. Things were going well at first. Then the equipment went haywire, and a passenger ship near the experimental site, the ESS Anethra, disappeared without a trace. The incident 20 years ago. Everyone thought the experiment had failed, but it hadn't. Several years later, we received a transmission straight from Gilland. He told us that he and the Zenithra had been sucked into the other world, and that he had since created a device that could punch a hole through the spatial distortion. Lots of and that he found a solution to Olympias' energy problems to boot. That's right. His plan was to use the energy circulating throughout this other world as a reactor. So what will happen to the people on that world? Are you with the anti-governmentalists? Right now, the opposition party is using the issue of Otherworld people's rights as a shield to try and block the Otherworld reactor plan. Yet they have no alternative solution for our energy problem. Olympias has long since passed the point where we can solve our problems with idealistic jargon. So you supported the Otherworld reactor plan fully aware of the consequences. Kill him. You're damn right I did. And I continue to support it wholeheartedly. Forget it, Mila. There's no point in trying to change his mind. I know. My duty remains unchanged. Do everything I can to stop the plan from succeeding. He's one of the people Mila meant to kill. <laughs> Anyways, that, that news I seen, uh, it shows that she is indeed compassionate in some ways. She's not like a heartless monster. And that's it, I think. I think there's another room. Okay, that's it. Roussel High Road, yeah? Wait a sec, do I have the clover already? Maybe I have it in my, I don't know, materials. Uh... No. I am the demon beast. Good materials. I mean, just the block of feather. Oh, is that it? That looks like it's it. Is this a light leaf clover? Yeah, that's it. Damn it, Balin told me these things were extinct. <laughs> extinct? You thought they were extinct and let us bet anyway? <laughs> no, I just... Well... Yeah, basically. <laughs> well, all's well that ends well. It's a miracle! We've traveled to an entirely different world, and this is what qualifies as a miracle to you? Damn, oh, I thought we got them all. But it looks like we missed one. You there, hand over that clover if you know what's good for you. Huh? Who the heck 
heck are you? We found this fair and square. If anyone else finds a clover, we lose our bet. If you won't hand it over, we'll take it by force. Uh, okay. Okay. the ladies. Ooh. Why would they just attack us like that? And what did they mean about a bet? Wait a minute. Do you know something? Best not to talk out here. Let's go back to Balin's. Yes! Now we get to hear an embarrassing story about Alvin. Yeah. This is why I hate gambling. <laughs> and back to Balin once Let's more. Let's bring the Lightleaf Clover back to Balin. And then we get our story. This is going to be good. Yeah, I forgot about over here. This is a little bit of an optional dungeon. I don't think there's any kind of story here. Yeah. I don't care. Well, there might be a... Maybe an uh, enemy boss. Uh. Oh. Whoa, is this a boss? Oh, okay. Uh huh. It's so big! Well, I must say. What? What is it? This bear is bear. Mm. Nice. Wait. I don't think we have time for any joke. I I should be able to kill this. Now! Now! Elise. Now, 
Run! 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 Oh. That was really close. That was indeed. Not yet. Oh, okay. I can't right. Just keeps getting better. Holy, I thought that was a normal mod. Sorry to be such a burden back there. I'll try to be more careful. I thought that was just a mob. <laughs> no, that was a boss. Six thousand gal. I think there's also something I need to do in the uh, Torbalan High Road. I think it's like poachers or something. Um, hunt down Shadow Stalkers. Torbalan High Road. Oh, there it is. Did, did I not do this? I swear I did this already. Let's go. That's it for that one. Uh, uh, where do I turn in that quest, though? It might have been at the port. Buns, fresh buns. There we go. Mystery mask. Did I have that before? Oh yeah, I totally had that before. <laughs> now to Balin. found a light leaf clover. If we'd have bet money, you'd have made a killing. All right, make with the embarrassing stories. Oh well, a bet's a bet. <sighs> Which one are you going to tell them? Let's make it the one about this very clover. When Alvin was five years old, he wanted to do something for Aunt Leticia's, uh, for his mother's birthday. He came up with the idea of giving her a crown made entirely out of light leaf clovers. Sounds like that could be difficult. Right. Even back then, they were quite hard to find. So little Alvin thought long and hard about what to do. After a lot of thought, he came up with the idea of painting regular clovers the color of light leaf clovers. That's brilliant! Is it? 
He gave it to Leticia before the paint was dry, and she ended up getting it all over her hair. Alvin was even more surprised at this than Leticia was, and he started bawling his eyes out. Out of habit, he buried his face in her hair as he tried to apologize, and ended up getting paint all over his face, too. The end. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute! That was a wonderful story. You really loved your mother, didn't you, Alvin? I'll get you for this, Balin. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, talking about Leticia has put me in the mood for one of her peach pies. Oh, they were absolute perfection. I'd give anything for one more bite, but unfortunately, it's not to be. Balin, you hang on to those memories. She may never have made it back to Olympias, but at least we can keep her memory alive. Even if you asked me to, I could never forget about her, or about you, naturally. I'm glad I made it back. It's not like she's dead, she's just disabled. Is she dead? Wait a second. Um. A lonely homecoming. Guess I better do something with Mom's house. And while I'm at it, I should see Isla, too. When did she die? What? 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 Maybe it was on Mila's side. That... I, I, what? Not me? What the nanny? This is where your mother lived, isn't it? Yeah. Why did she die? You're back? Hey, Isla. I got your letter. So... Mom's dead. You already buried her? That's right. I'm so sorry. When I got here, she had already departed. Mom. Why did you do this? I'm sorry. I'm okay. There's actually a part of me that's kind of relieved now. Gonna scold me for that? A human life is a heavy thing. If you were carrying your mother's burden for her, it's only natural that you'd feel that way. <laughs> Never thought you'd be the one to console me. All right, enough of this. Isla, how did she really die? What? Oh? If you mean the cause of death, it was a sudden paroxysm of... You don't think it was the poison? Because my mother knew that you were mixing it into her food. What? Remember how she'd have those lucid moments? She told me about the poison in a letter. She lied. If she knew about it, why did she eat? Ooh. Don't strain yourself. You never were a good liar. It's... it's you and that group of yours' fault for trapping me here. Wait, stop. Oh, no. She killed Alvin's mom. Isla went to the royal hunting grounds. Damn it. After her. Oh, man. Isla, what have you done? Uh, let's go 
through all the royal hunting grounds. I don't remember doing this. Well, it's been so long, I don't know. It's been so long since I played this game. <laughs> I think I do remember. Uh, hey, you know what? She, she's not in the world hunting ground. She's actually here. I think. Was that? That's her. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There we go. Why did you poison Alvin's mother? <sighs> because she was holding her back. So long as mom was alive, Isla could never get her happy ending. Exactly. I don't want anything more to do with Exodus. All I want to do is live a normal, happy life. I've worked so hard just to be able to do that. Did my mother suffer? Good. That's the one thing I was worried about. You're going to let her go? She killed your mother! Mom knew she wasn't long for this world. She told me so in her last letter. She asked me to set Isla free after she died. She knew? And she still... Yep. Even though it meant she'd never return to the home she loved so much. I don't believe you. You're just going to blackmail me again. I have to destroy all the evidence. I have to erase my former self. Or else I'll never be truly happy. Wait, Isla, stop. Uh, ah! Isla! She jumped? Oh shit. How is she doing? Thanks to your first aid, her injuries have healed up nicely. But... Mommy... Why aren't you leaving me? Please don't sell me. I promise I won't complain about being hungry. Please? Mommy? How could this happen? Don't worry, Isla. I'm here. I'll always be here for you, whether you get better or not. Isla is lucky to have you. But it's so sad. Are you sure it's okay for us to stay here? I don't mind. She'll be safe here. They don't know about this place, but I'm taking the gun belt with me. It's been in my family for a long time. I promised my mom I'd take it home with me. Then I hope you find your way back home. It's the least I can do for her. She was a great mom. Yes. 
Yikes. So, Isla regressed back to her childhood somehow? Charge armor. Huh. Avoid staggering while charged. That's sick! What the heck? That's actually sick. Uh... That's a good, that's a good ass skill. Oh, you know what? Uh, the arena. <laughs> Let's get some revenge from Jude. For Jude to Labar. Oh, what's this? Um. What is it? Do you think we could go back to the booster research lab? You mean go back to Labari Hollow? Why would you want to go there? Oh, of course. If that's where you grew up, you might remember something about your past. I'm sorry. I know we don't have much time. No trouble at all. Besides, maybe you'll remember something that inspires you to new heights. That's certainly a possibility. Let's try to get back to Labari Hollow. Okay, so there's Labari Hollow, Fezable Marsh, and Giselle. First of all, beginner single. Jude. Revenge! Let's destroy this. Steel! It's not working. Oh God! <laughs> I almost did it again. Come on, hang in there. Beast! 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 Now, beast! Ooh, see ya! Beast! See ya! Now, it's not working! Now, seven more! Put this on. Beast, I win! Beast! Oh god. Beast! Boom! Ah, uh, did fall off. Beast! Yeah. Beast! Yes. Uh. Beast! See ya. That's it. Now! Beast! Now! Steel! Now! Seven more! There's still more? Now! Now! Now, try water. Next. Now. Steel. Strike. Now. Seven more. Next. Now. 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 Next. So much. Now! 
Steel feet. Still more. Now. Now. <laughs> Just knock them off. Knock them all off. Holy, that was a pain. Incredibly boring victory interview. <laughs> That's it? 5,000 gald? <laughs> Get out of here. Um, uh, Labari Hollow. This is the site of the laboratory where you grew up, isn't it? Maybe you can remember something about your family. I can't. I have lots of memories of Tipo, but nothing else. Looks like this was a big fat waste of time. Well, I certainly wouldn't say that. I love the way the wind feels here when it's blowing through my beard. Wait, didn't Rowan's beard remind you of your father? Hey, maybe that means your dad had a beard too. Do you remember what it was like? He gave Elise a piggyback ride here. That's right. I remember his beard swinging in the wind. He was really big. And he had a hat with lots of feathers and a big fluffy coat. Sounds familiar. Are you sure that's not Zhao? <laughs> uh, you're right. The man with the beard wasn't my father. It was Zhao. He put me up on his shoulders and told me the truth. That my mother and father had gone off somewhere very far away. He apologized over and over as he told me, but I didn't understand why. I just remember watching as his tears fell into his beard. Hey, it's okay. You can stop. I don't remember anything about my mother or father at all. I'm sorry. I thought you'd be happy if you could remember more of your past. I should have realized some memories should just stay forgotten. I'm so sorry, Elise. Ah, there you are. Some friends of mine said they saw you down here. I've been looking for you. What is it? I have a message from Isla. She remembered where Elise is from. There's a place just through a cave in the Mon Highlands. Isla says the house where you were born is there. So Isla is all better? No. It's just something she said during her delirium. She says the same things over and over. Then you've learned of her past. I know she can never make amends for what she did. But do you think you can forgive her? All she can do at this point is apologize. Your forgiveness would mean a lot. Elise, please tell Isla that I said thank you. I certainly will. Okay, let's go. I want to see the place where I was born. Where do you say? Mont Highlands? Oh, I remember. Uh... There was a place I went to before, and there was like nothing there to do. But I guess that's what you do. For, it was for Elise. Ah, oh, this must be the sensation oh. humans know as hunger. Let's stop and eat something soon. Didn't we just eat? <laughs> what is with Tails protagonist being like super gluttons? Is she on? Mila? Probably someone else in another game. <laughs> One each game. I'm willing to bet.
Huh? Oh, uh, there's also these ones. I totally forgot to do these enemies. Feeding you. Huh? Huh? Here it is. Huh? Oh man, he saw me from far away. And why do they all look like they have steam coming out of their head? <laughs> Can't believe it's something I've... Well, I've noticed it, but I just never questioned it. <laughs> this should be the place Jurgen told us about. But I don't see a house anywhere. It's been ten years. It could easily have fallen apart by now. Let's try looking around a little bit more. No, this is it. This is where my house used to be. You sure? Elise's flowers! These were in our garden. So your house really was here. It's okay. Thank you, everyone. I feel a lot better now. Tipo, you said these were Elise's flowers? That's what they called them. Couldn't tell you why, though. Jude, what are these flowers really called? Are they native to this area? They look like princessias. Normally, you don't see them in a place like this. Her parents must have planted them back when they still lived here. And don't all flowers have some hidden meaning behind them? Yeah. I can't really help you with these, though. They mean priceless treasure and a long and happy life. This may be a stretch, but these flowers may represent what your parents thought of you, Elise. At least, that's what I'd like to believe. Mother. Father. I'm impressed that you put that together. You shouldn't be. After all, you were the ones who taught me what it means to be human. So I guess we're just wrapping up everyone's character arcs. <laughs> Next is Rowan. Fezbel Marsh. It's difficult to believe this whole area used to be a dry wasteland. We were taught a great tsunami did this 20 years ago. It was right when the former king of Ajul was leading his army into battle against Rashigal. Wait, Rowan, you were a tactician in that battle, weren't you? Yes, I was. It's hard to believe it's already been so long. This is the place where Princess Carrie died. Oh, damn. Noctigal's sister. Even he wouldn't dare to defy her. If she was still alive, Rashigal's history would have turned out quite a bit differently. She must have been a fearsome woman if she could keep Noctigal in check. Quite the opposite. She was a gentle, easygoing soul. Noctigal was always at his kindest around her, but her gentle demeanor masked an indomitable spirit. The meek had no greater ally than her. She even chose to accompany the army as a medic, so that she could save as many lives as possible. A princess working as a medic? She must have been one hell of a woman. Unfortunately, her story did not end happily. Their brothers feared Noctigal would distinguish himself by leading Rashigal to victory. So instead, they revoked his authority to lead the army just before the battle began. 
In his place, they sent an incompetent buffoon of a general, who squandered every advantage Rashagal had. Why would they do that? They must have feared Noctagal more than their own enemies. Just as Rashagal was facing defeat, the tsunami came and forced the remnants of both armies to retreat. But Princess Carrie's unit was among the unlucky ones that were caught in the wave. It was a grave error on my part. Amidst the confusion, I didn't notice that her unit was in the path of danger. If I had given her unit clearer orders, Carrie would still be alive. Wait a minute. Were you two together? We were worlds apart in both age and class, but we had pledged our futures to each other. Noctagall was the only one who approved of our union, but that's an old story, and one perhaps best forgotten. Oh, boy. Oh, yikes. I think that's it. Uh, that wasn't really a wrap up, but just more details of his story. Oh, yikes. Um, okay, uh, Cheryl. Sh 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 <laughs> oh, right. This is this one too? Um, peach elephant tusk. Where did I find that? You know what? Uh, peach, elephant tusk. Remember that naturalist who was researching changes in spirit climbs? Ah, uh, yes. Perhaps he's completed his research. Yeah, we should go visit him back at the central plaza. Alright, uh, first of all, um, Royal Hunting Grounds is supposed to be here. And it's just by chance in a loot bag. Getting pretty hungry here. How long has it been since I've had one of Mom's home cooked meals? Did I run out of food? Oh, I ran out of, ran out of food effect. Off a tusk. Disappear? Oh, they totally did.
Where's the loot? Gathering spots. Oh, it might be also with the the shiny points, like this. Okay, an arc. Mysterious jewel for Man, this sucks. I cannot find it, so I give up. <laughs> Shelton. Ah, uh, hello there. I've got the results of the examination data. So the art we used at Bermia Gorge came in handy, huh? Oh, yes. Uh, now, after reviewing all of the data, I have determined that there is a clear link between spirit art usage and nearby spirit climb changes. As the scale of spirit art usage grows, the changes in the climb become more pronounced. So the recent topographical changes in Bermia Gorge are due to the increased spirit art usage in Sheraton. That's right. I saw the same kind of data with Fenmont's expanding night climb as well. At our current usage scale, we should only see minor alterations. But, if we keep developing new spirit arts, we may be facing irreversible changes to our spirit climbs. Like the whole world going dark? That is a remote possibility, yes. So even if we stay inside the schism, there's a chance that Reza Maxia could end up just like Olympias. I guess even spirit arts have their drawbacks. It all depends on how we use them. If all we seek from spirit arts or spyrix is to maximize convenience, then of course we'll see repercussions. I agree. But at least this news comes at the right time. Yeah, if we open the schism and reshape the world, surely human awareness will be reshaped as well. The question, of course, is in what way? But nothing will change at all if we don't act. You're right. For better or worse, this is the path we've chosen. And he's all like, I have no idea what you're talking about. Schism? What's that? <laughs> ah, fish. I want to max out the weapon shop, honestly. Fossil rod. Hmm. 
Oh. Ah. Heart herb. Peach berry blossom. Two more levels. Fist of Legend. Demon's Bane. I guess I'm fine with Sun Falcon. Sun Falcon, Sun Falcon is cool. Honestly, the difference isn't even that much either. money now. Maybe I should get all the best armor I can. Eighty-one. Uh, how do I farm materials? Uh, I really wish I did the the double material points. That would have been really helpful. <laughs> Okay, now we can finally go to Giselle. Hello. Lady Giselle, how much longer until the roads are reopened? At this rate, we won't be able to stay in business much longer. Please, everyone calm down. The guards have been shaken by all the instability. They've retreated to Fort Gondala and put it on lockdown. I've been trying to reach the military headquarters, but I haven't been able to establish contact yet. We don't have time to wait. Our losses are already catastrophic. If we don't do something soon, Sherylton will be doomed. I... I'll do something. I promise. If only Lord Klein were still here. We couldn't help but over here. Perhaps we can be of some assistance. No. This is something I need to handle myself. It's my duty as Klein's successor. Your determination is laudable, but you are slightly mistaken. Not you two! I know I'm not capable enough, but I still have to try. We know you're doing your best, my lady. We do. However, this isn't just about business anymore. With the roads shut down, there are people who are struggling merely to survive. Then it seems our only option is to invade Fort Gondola. Huh. But what about the golems that protect it? I thought they were invincible. Yes. Within the right spirit climb, a golem's defense power is absolute. However... In the wrong spirit climb, their defensive power would be diminished. Correct. And we now know of a way to change a spirit climb ourselves. Booster. So if we use a booster like they did at Fezabel Marsh, we stand a real chance at victory. So if we just need a booster, why not use the same one we used at Fezabel Marsh? I'm afraid it was swept away by the marsh flow. What about Tipo? Tipo is a special type. I'm afraid we couldn't use him for this. We'll need to find a different booster. I'm so sorry to have failed you! <laughs> Wait! Mila! Remember when they captured Tipo at Fort Gandala? That's right. Noctical was conducting booster experiments right there at the fort. There should be plenty of boosters within its confinements. And if we can get our hands on one, we can take out the golems. So the key that we need to break into the fort is hidden within the fort itself. <laughs> oh dear. We certainly have our work cut out for us. We'll be going there anyway. This way we kill two birds with one stone. But I can't expose you all to danger, just for the sake of my city. You're mistaken again. Your determination should be used precisely for that purpose. Lady Drissel, each of us has our own role to play. 
For a governor, it's showing your people the right path, and taking responsibility for those who walk it. You're... you're right. Now, Lady Dressel of House Cheryl, we await your order. Very well. As the new governor, I hereby ask you to retake Fort Gondala, for the good of Sherylton. Yes, my lady. Leave it to us! All right. Let's invade. I should save. It's been a while. Yeah. And mm, I think I'll be good to fight the golems. Probably. Hopefully. What level am I? Oh, I'm fine. Let's do it. Why would they have guards out if the golems are functional? No one is able to feel fully secure once fear has overtaken them. This should work to our advantage. Perhaps we can convince them to tell us where the boosters are kept. Devious! Do this right and we'll be done in a flash. Attack! You won't deactivate the golems this way, you know. Who said anything about deactivation? We're going to destroy them! You're kidding, right? Jokes were never my strong suit. Uh... Would you be so kind as to tell us where the boosters are kept? They... they should be in control room 02. Do we know where that is? It's a spare control room located opposite from the one we visited earlier. Got it. Let's go. Yeah, I do not remember where that is. <laughs> At all. Oh my, uh, uh, okay. Oh. Let's sneak into Fort Gondala and try to find a booster. That seems to be our only hope of defeating the golems. Okay, so go through this way. Here we go. Boosters. Ah, this is indeed the same type of booster that was used at Fezabel Marsh. If we can use this to change the spirit climb, the golem's defensive power should plummet. Kind of like a golem inhibitor. Hey, a golem inhibitor! <laughs> do you even know what that means? Not a clue. So how do we use it? Leave that to me. Just eat well. it on the ground. Let's crush some golems. <laughs> That's what he did last time. Great the golem golems reckoning. should be guarding the gate to the main passageway. Now we shall put an end to them. Uh, Rowan. Switch Rowan, Leia, Alvin. Okay. Do I have food? Do I have food? What? Ah, fine. Go the long way. Two golems dead ahead. And two more behind us! Uh. Four golems at once. Truly a rock and a hard place. No, it's four birds with one stone. They've saved us the trouble of hunting them down. <laughs> it's impossible to get discouraged with Mila around. Agreed. We're much stronger than we were before. Let's do this! 
You said it. Rowan. On it. Activating the golem inhibitor. Yeet. We oh, didn't yeet it. Oh, that's boring. Water. Guys, it's looking mighty tough. It's Roshagal's ultimate defense weapon. It's not something we'd normally stand a chance against. But we might stand a chance now. Keyword. Ah! Ah! once, but not now. That's right. It's payback time. Roger. Oh, Luminate and bang. Energize. Savage war. Focus. Huh? Yeah. Let's go. Roger. Ruination phase! Damn, he's a strong. I can't see. Ah! What the? What's her? Um. Yeah, I did this. Uh. Get up. Ah. Not no, I wanted to Not good. Hey, don't give up. Let's That's the scary one. Okay. Let's go. We must do. Now, please. I don't What level are these? Um, 55? Why am I having so much trouble with them? Let it be by my hand! Elemental mastery! Elemental mastery! 
Elemental Mastery. Oh 
I dodged that! Dead. Oh man, she's confused. Why are you doing this? Oh. Oh goodness. Are you kidding? Are you dead yet? Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Now it should be fine. Getting better. I thought the golems were invincible. How did this happen? Rashikal is done for. Is that all you have to say after holding yourselves up here without permission? You should be ashamed. We were doing it for our country. Rashikal's military assets must be protected. Do you truly believe that abandoning the citizens you serve strengthens your country? I... well... Wait. Are you Chief of Staff Hilbert? No, but I used to be. You all are the military of today. 
And as such, it is your duty to figure out what needs to be done. Understood. The Fort Gondola Guards will reopen the fort immediately. We will resume patrolling the high roads and protecting civilian activities. Jeez. That takes care of that. That should be a load off your cell shoulders. Alright, back to Sheraton. And we've made it through Fort Gondola at last. Yeah, what an ordeal. Let's get back to Drissel. We have to tell her how great you were. Sorry. Man, that's such a pain. Sorry to be such a burden back there. I'll try to be more careful. Yeah, yeah. Thank goodness you all made it back. Is anyone hurt? We're fine, my lady. As you can see, we couldn't be healthier. We kicked ten tons of golem butt! Oh, I'm so relieved. You are worried about us? Of course. I don't know what I would have done if you had gotten hurt on my behalf. Facing that pain is one of the gravest duties of leadership. It sure isn't easy. No, it is not. But as long as you feel pain at the suffering of your people, they will always be there to support you. I'll do my best. Just as Klein did. It might be difficult, but we know you can do it. I'm sorry I can't give you the rewards you deserve. Wait, I know. I'll brew up some of my finest tea. Come, let's have a tea party. <laughs> I couldn't ask for a finer reward. Throw in some of those little cakes and you've got a deal. Ah, yes, a tea party. The greatest of prizes. Spirit negation. Who is that for? Anti-magic. Wow, huh. Includes both offensive and defensive, so he, he can't- he cannot be healed. <laughs> okay. Let's just go to all the places and see if any subquests pop up. And if not, then that will... Then it'll be time! <laughs> Sorry to be such a burden back there. I'll try to be more careful. Thanks, everyone. I wouldn't have made it without you. Nothing in Fenmont, eh? Hamil? Is Hamil still deserted? Yeah. Sorry to be such a burden back there. I'll try to be more careful. Shut up! Thanks, everyone. I wouldn't have made it without you. Yeah, there's no one. Uh, near Kara, I was, I was just there. Sheraton. Uh, I think I wanted to go to the... Um, Jet Black Feather Dude. Thanks, everyone. I wouldn't have made it without you. Aquatic jelly? Oh, hold on. Uh, is the weapon shop still times three? If so, I'll... Yes, okay. Let's get some aquatic fish or whatever. Or, I don't know what it's called. Aquatic jelly.
Oh, hey, Uncle Irby, what's up? <laughs> the world's softest jewel? 16? You know what? That's, that's a good amount of stuff. Wait a second. Eh, okay. That's fine. We'll trade him in. Aquatic jelly. Oh, that's not much at all. Ah, <laughs> oh, some of your favorite RPGs? Yeah, I, I like them a lot. I like. I just finished Tales of Arise, and I'm like, man, just maybe want to play Tales of Zillia again. Ah, okay, you know what? Twenty thousand. Yeah, so now I'm just playing them on harder difficulties than I did before. It's like the last time I played this game was like eight years ago. <laughs> it was, it's been a long time. Ah, you know what? 50 strange cores. 7,000. Isn't that the better deal? Yeah, ugh. This is the final part of the first one, then after this I'll play the second one, which is better. Well, in some ways. Okay. Blue, then Strange Core. Almost there. 99. New discounts, but not new weapons? Are you kidding me? Give me the Fist of Legend! Hmm. Oh! Donate Gald! Of course! Take 700k! Ah, We're doing it! Do it! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Death Simulator? You're not wrong. You are not wrong. <laughs> okay, I can finally get this. Fist of Legend. Then I should also get this. And this. Now I have no money. <laughs> Now I have no money. Uh, maybe there's something I can sell? Chrono symbol, that's good. I never use these. Lucifera's, my goodness. Next seed. Oh man, that is not a lot of money. I don't need this. I like her Sun Falcon weapon. And this stinger, soaring eagle. Shall I get this? Okay. All right, armor. Uh, I already got Jude the best armor. I got Mila the best armor too. Okay, let's get Leia. Everyone down. We'll try harder, we promise. 
Thanks, everyone. I wouldn't have... Hmm. Oh, what's this? Hello. Group of bandits. Well, yeah, I don't... I don't, I don't want to go that far. <laughs> Wait, what's this? Welcome to Lorande Lodge. They serve food at the Lorand Lodge, you say? Yeah. Lord. Leia's dad is probably the best cook in town. If you like, you can come try it for yourself. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm certainly interested. Um... Am I supposed to get food here? What? Or maybe I'm supposed to finish this quest first. Uh, ah, fine, let's do it. <laughs> uh, where am I? Yeah, one thing that really sucks about this game, there's no dash option like in Zillia 2. I'm so, sorry, that makes I going around such down. a pain. We'll try harder, we promise. The walking speed is just not fast enough. I need the dash. Chicken heads, rooster stuff, nice cock. Ah! That's what those monsters are. I don't know. That always reminded me of chickens. Oh, is that an arc? That is an arc. Oh, what the heck is mysterious jewel? What is this for? everyone down. We'll try harder, we promise. Hello there. Maybe in here? No. Oh! There we go. I... Oh, 31. Oh, you're dead. Alright. Nice job. It's over. This is what we're made of. What is that? Is that a wand sticking out of its butt? Oh, this must be one of the special monsters, huh? What level are they, actually? You know, I might as well check it out. Right. Level 59. Oh, okay, I can do this. Look, Attack! It's got a stealth on its tail. How dare it have the same weapon as me? I suggest not underestimating it. What? Are you saying my skills are weaker than this beast? Leia, I advise you to redirect that anger towards the enemy instead. Fine, I'll show you all who's boss. Okay. 
you here. Torrent impact. How unfortunate. Tornado blade. Touch spirit. Shining prism. Sigil spear. Oh, that's so long. Oh, there we go. Nice. Just made it. Let it be. By my hand. It changed elements. Oh. Okay. You're so mean. Now. Let's do this. Ugh. Ah, okay. That's how it works. Still hit me? Change elements? Nope. They change? No. There we go. Uh, Earth? All beginning. Must end. Let it be. By my hand. Elemental mastery. Let's go. Because all. Money right now, huh? Uh, Lucifera. Lucifera. We got you. Ha, now. Ha, ha, <sighs> that was really close. That what the? That is no money at all. Oh. Yes. I feel much. Forger of Chains. I don't know what that's all about. Uh, okay, put on stuff again. You got a fairy ring. You had a... I don't know what you had. Just put a fairy ring. Or... Oh. Whatever. And you definitely had casting thingy. monster just now had a weapon integrated into its body. That must have been one of the artificial monsters that the storyteller told us about. 
One was bad enough. Are there really five more of those things out there? Okay, so it gave Leia a weapon. Give this. One of the devil's beasts. Hmm. Um, I forgot, but there's a way to like unlock their powers or something. I don't know. I don't need it. Or do I? Nah. Tengu mask. Okay, but how do I eat the... F how do I do the subquest? She fought in the Jean Du contest tournament. Uh, oh, what's this? Oh, I like sold all my rocks. Block of quartz. I don't care. Oh yeah, what about Jude's dad? Maybe there's a subquest there. But there should be a subquest here, no? About Leia? It told me to come here! Maybe I'll rest here. Maybe I'll do it. Okay, it did not. Ah. Get it. Oh. You know what? All these subquests I don't care about. Screw them. Jude's mom here. Maybe it's in Memories of Laurent. Dude, remember when we used to play hide and seek here? <laughs> Dad would always get so mad at us. I'm so confused. Why won't it happen? Stupid subquest. We'll try one more time. Ah, there we go. Jeez. I'm dumb. Mmm, this looks delicious. Leia's dad makes the best Mabo curry anywhere. You always did love dad's Mabo curry, huh? <laughs> that doesn't mean I could eat it every day, though. What do you mean? Leia would always bring Mabo curry over after a fight. Ah, so it was an excuse to make up. Yeah. My parents were always busy and didn't have much time to cook, so it really helped us out. And because Leia and I used to fight all the time... You ended up having Mabo curry every day. <laughs> Didn't you think to bring over anything else? Sure, but Mabo curry is special because it's two kinds of food in one. Just like two good friends getting along. So it was an edible symbol of friendship. And it kind of worked. From then on, I did my best not to let Leia get me angry. That way, I wouldn't have to eat Mabo curry every night. <laughs> hey, that makes 
makes it sound like it was always my fault we fought. It wasn't always your fault. I'd say around 80%. <laughs> no, no. You two settle down. Enjoy some Mabo curry together. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All oh, right, next. Shandu already went there. Campbellar, I was just there. Is that it? Hmm. Let's give it a taste. I could certainly eat. Then why not come to my house? I'm sure my dad's cooked up something. Another one? Oh, I remember there's a cutscene for... Might be this one. Or not. Because <laughs> there's a wand poster. There's supposed to be another reaction to the posters. I don't know how to activate it though. Hey, it's the old man. Maybe in this one. Or was it in the first one? Oh, there's nothing here. Whatever. Lorande. Loran. Loran. It's pronounced Loran. Dun dun dun. That roast chicken looks amazing. Just looking at it is making me salivate. Sorry, Mila, but you can't have any. I'm sure it's for someone's birthday. How can you tell? Here on the island, it's a tradition to celebrate one's birthday with our special chicken Laurent. The chicken is stuffed with pilaf, which mixes with the chicken's juices, and it's just delicious. Oh, I'm drowning in my own saliva just thinking about it. <laughs> it must be a very special dish to the people of Laurent. Then you must have eaten this on your birthdays as well. Yeah, a long time ago. Not recently? Well, lately I've been living in Fenmont. And before that, Leia would try to deliver it to me. But she tripped and dropped it for three years straight. <laughs> three years straight? <laughs> what a waste. It, it wasn't on purpose. It's just the more I tried to be careful not to trip, the more I ended up tripping. <laughs> that does sound like something Leia would do. I'm really sorry. I only tried to deliver it because I wanted to see you happy. Three years. I know. Every year you were always the person who got the most excited about my birthday. Uh, <laughs> yeah. For my birthday this year, I hope we can all enjoy Chicken Laron together. I'll ask my dad to make it extra good. I greatly look forward to the occasion. As do I. It can't come soon enough. Oh man, poor dude. <laughs> what else is there? Let's see. The Devil's Beast, those who act in shadow. Pretty in pink, love feathered vision. Where else is there to go? Oh right, Lipius. Huh? What's going on? So this entire city is powered by Spyrex. Yep. This world turns by stealing energy from spirits. Olympias has been doing that since ancient times. That's why it's rich in spirit fossils and little else. How can everyone be so calm about killing spirits? With so many spirits gone, even nature is starting to disappear. Olympians don't know that spirits create nature, or even that they're alive to begin with. All they know is that their primary energy source is drying up. Yet they're not doing anything about it. 
We've progressed this far by relying on Spyrix. We can't remake our society overnight. Could you immediately stop using spirit arts if someone told you to? No, I don't think we could. Riza Maxia couldn't exist without humans and spirits working together to cast spirit arts. Symbiotic coexistence, eh? Must be nice. Maybe we Manaloblis Olympians are simply destined for extinction. I do suspect that was the destiny Maxwell originally had in mind, but I have no intention of adhering to Destiny's plans. I envy your strength. If you have time for envy, you have time to act. With your actions, this situation can change. Change the entire world, huh? That's not really my style, but maybe just this once. Hmm. Okay. A Getting dialogue. pretty hungry here. How long has it been since I've had one of Mom's hey. home-cooked meals? I get so nervous talking to people in Olympias. Don't be afraid. They're people just like us. Try to speak to as many people as you can. Gotta pump them for info. Information is important. But learning to understand and appreciate each other, that is our top priority. Who this? Ah, I'll stop again. Excuse me, have you seen an elderly woman around here? I was out shopping with my mother, but we got separated. Her hair and eyes look just like mine. Unfortunately, we don't know this city very well. There you are, Lem. What are you doing here? What sort of child is still getting lost when she's 18 years old? Me? You're the one who got lost. Did you forget where we were supposed to meet? Oh, did I? Honestly, I don't know how you keep a nursing job when you can't even stick to a simple schedule. <laughs> it's nice to see that Olympians are as human as we are. No kidding. Carrie? Carrie, it's you. You're alive. Wait, Noctigal's sister? Oh, yes. My name is Carrie. But I'm afraid I don't know who you are. You... You don't? Amnesia. I'm sorry. I can't remember anything from my childhood. When I washed up on a beach here 20 years ago, all I could remember was my name. Wait, do you know who my mother used to be? Nope. Um, no. I merely met her once before, when I was working with her husband. Oh, are you in the military too? Forgive me for not recognizing you. You meet so many people as a soldier's wife. No, no apologies necessary. It was a long time ago. May I ask where your husband is? He's away on an expedition right now. I haven't heard from him in a long time, but I'm not worried. Ever since he found me 20 years ago, Julius has never broken a promise he's made to me. <sighs> Mom, could you stop gushing to complete strangers? <laughs> okay, okay. But it is true, you know. Oh, boy. Come on, we need to get going. Nice meeting you all. Oh. Hey. No. When the schism was breached 20 years ago, the tsunami must have brought Carrie all the way here to Olympias. Aren't you going to go after her? I... I don't know what I would say to her after all these years. I don't even know how to feel about this. Oh man. Poor Rowan. I hope Lady Drusel is faring well. Why not go to the manor and see? Drusel must be worried sick about you! Oh, <laughs> worried about me? Oh my. I do hope she doesn't perceive me as being that old. Feels bad, Rowan. Feels so bad. Oh. All right, back to Giselle again. Exactly the people I was hoping to see. We just captured one of the soldiers from that airship. 
Wow! How'd you pull that off? It's Julius. Actually, he seems like a pretty strange guy. He actually turned himself in. He said he'd like to speak to Rowan. His name is Julius. Do you know him? Yo! Lady Drusel, would it be possible to see him now? You must be Rowan. At your service. And you must be Carrie's husband, Julius. I should have known the conductor would already know the score. You give me too much credit. Carrie and I merely met by chance in Olympias once. My question is, how do you know about me? Carrie had a ring with your name engraved on it when I met her. When I saw her using Calculatrix without a Spyrex, I knew she had to be from the other world. I volunteered for the other world reactor plan expedition so I could learn more about her past. Why would you risk so much? You already know she loves you. Because I hid the ring from her, the one with your name on it. I didn't want her to have anything that would remind her of her past. I'm a coward who took advantage of her amnesia in order to steal her heart. I saw for myself how deeply Carrie loves and trusts you. It was clear from the way she smiled. Even 20 years ago, I'm not sure I could have ever done anything to make her smile like that. Julius, you must make it back to Olympias alive. Your wife and daughter are waiting for you. Your only sin is abandoning the people who love you. But there isn't any way for me to get back. Not to worry. We will escort you home ourselves. In fact, I insist upon it. However... There's no telling how long the dimensional breach will last. We should hurry. Thank you. Rowan, it's been an honor to meet you. The honor is all mine. So Julius made it back to his family safely? Yeah. Carrie was overjoyed to see him. You should have gone with them. Oh no, that simply wasn't possible. The way my back has been acting up. Well, that won't do. You must take better care of yourself. It's Carrie. That voice. I just had to come and thank you all in person. Thank you so much. If it wasn't for you and your friends, we might never have seen Julius again. Rowan, how have you been? My beard's a bit longer, but other than that, not much has changed. And yourself? Apart from a few more wrinkles, nothing. <laughs> Those aren't wrinkles. Those are laugh lines. You seem very happy. I am. You do too. Oh, yes. Spending time with so many young folk makes me feel a few decades younger myself. That's wonderful. But do take care of yourself. I will. Thank you. Rowan. Are you sure about this? Please cheer up. <laughs> How could I possibly think myself unlucky in love when I have three lovely ladies looking after me? <laughs> now then, let us be off. I hope I grow up to be someone like you, Rowan. <laughs> then you'll need another 50 years of training. It's not as easy as it looks. Ah, oh, poor Rowan. Oh, man. What else is there? The, the, those guys can shadow. Hmm. How do I finish that off? Maybe it's somewhere in Cambalar. Hmm. That's like discussing the rats, is it not? Oh, this dude. <laughs> Muffs.
Anything? Nothing. Yeah, screw it. I'll just check their event list. Uh, Alvin explains his reasons. Uh, 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 uh. They live together, yeah. Left behind a letter? Where? I want to know that. What's happening? Where, where'd she leave it? Sean Du, maybe? Maybe it's a post-game event. What's with this guy just standing here? Okay, fine. Let's go back to Shandu. See what happens in Shandu. Looks like nothing. Maybe it's a post-game thing. I want to get everything done before I finish the game, though. Okay, screw it. Hey, that's it. It's time to time to finish this. Let's see. Mila Shrine. It is time! Uh, not yet. I still need items, don't I? Uh, no. Nah. Oh, okay. Pineapple gel, lemon gel, miracle gel, treat, happy treat. Okay, some good. Oh, the lilium orb. That's right. I leveled up some good. Six. Dark Guard, Vitality, it's a spool. Wait, what was that? Uh, avoid staggering five seconds after successful back dodge on the ground. You know what, that's not bad actually. Not like I'll get it. Yeah, I can't even get it. Second Arts 2. Hmm. Very Stoke. Sigh, Lemon Fever, that's good. Store Plus. Model level Leia. Yeah, just 
just, just, just auto level. All right, skills. TP combo support. Mirage assault. TP gain. <laughs> How did I not have TP gain? Uh, stamina. Momentary gain. Step guard. Avoid staggering when attacked during quick step. Okay. Second arts 2. Limit fever. Casting the same spirit art twice in succession, the second casting will only cost 10% of- Oh, Sure. Alvin. Okay. Ooh, let's finish this! Ugh. Can't believe I spent two and a half hours <laughs> doing all this crap. Levels, oh my, at least it's level 83. <laughs> That's hilarious. Fairy ring. What a crazy place! But that's okay. We're used to it. Let's see, Mila, fairy ring, fairy ring, emerald ring. Give, okay, I'll give you fairy ring. Actually, do I even need to? How about, how about this? Completely prevents all physical ailments. Uh, or Mystic Album. Okay. Mist of Legend. Let's do it! So you've made it this far. I'm assuming you're not going to just let us pass. Of course not. You should know well enough why I stand before you. Turn back now. You know we cannot oblige to that. Why are you so adamant about meeting his highness? We must stop him and dispel the schism. It is the only way for the people of Risa, Maxia, and Olympias to come together. So you side with the Olympians now. Your fickle self-righteousness sickens me. What an idiot. I don't understand what His Highness sees in you. You will die here before you become any further burden to him. Super Saiyan! We'll see about that. They want to help everyone, and that automatically makes them siding with the Lippians? Like, so dumb. <laughs> Earth. Are you guys? I don't know your language, but I do understand your will. But we can't afford to back down either. We shall defeat you. Get over here, you. Onward. Stop, stop. 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 
Goodness, I was close. Not again. No! Would you quit doing that? Oh, 
I'm healed as well. Let's go! 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 We had met under different circumstances. Rowan. Not yet. I need. I'm just getting started. I can't stop. Just keeps getting better. Ugh. <laughs> Die already. Albert. His Highness is right. If we destroy the Spyrixes, the world will change. You cannot force the world along a path it has not chosen for itself. That's a revelation I have finally come to accept. Rowan. Only now you stand there after all that has transpired. At the front of the fight, how pathetic of you. But I'm not finished with you. I must help His Highness achieve his vision. Why push yourself to the limit? Silence! Wingle, Gaius has not killed all of us for precisely the same reason. That he keeps you at his side. If you were to die here, then Gaius's ideas will... Not another word! Say no more, Ilbert. Wingle? 
Pain in the ass till the very end. Now what? I can't exactly leap these gaps in a single bound. Hurry, har har, Alvin! Quit kidding around! Huh? You'll make it. Just flap your arms and believe in yourself. <laughs> now who's a big fat liar? Seriously though, what's the plan? No getting back up there. <sighs> Rowan, I hate to say it, but it's hard to believe Wing will survive that. I know. Still, I think I heard his voice right at the end. What did he say? I could not make out his words. Regardless, it is not something that requires our attention at the moment. We need to focus on how to extricate ourselves from our present predicament. Jump. Right. I think the best plan is for each of us to move forward separately. We're all heading to the same place, after all. This a race? We all know I'll get the Gaius first. Was that lie meant to discourage those of us who will reach him sooner? Whoa, Gramps. Getting feisty. Ha! <laughs> I'm totally gonna be first. I'll say hi to Gaius for everyone. Zing! Good one, Elise! Happy trails, everyone! Solo play? Alright. Sorry to be such a burden back there. I'll try to be more careful. You know what? I don't need XP anymore, so let's get a... Uh... Here we go. Increase physical attack, arts attack, physical defense, and arts defense. Yeah, why not? Strong golems, yikes. It's an awesome looking place, but like the dungeon design is kinda kinda weird. Kinda earthy, I don't like it. <laughs> But the design is the design itself is like really cool. Oh. Hey, another fruit jacky soba. Mila! Mila! Let's make this quick! You okay? Don't worry, I'm fine. But I have to say, it's like fate keeps pulling us together. Oh yeah. <laughs> Took you long enough to notice. <laughs> hmm. 
Mila. Jude, I trust you're well. We have no time to talk. Right. I knew you'd be fine. I'm sure the others are too. What matters now is, is moving, moving forward. forward. Things end up like this. No one is to blame. You're right. Thank you. Muse, return Maxwell to us. The world no longer needs him. No one is unneeded. If he is unneeded, then so are you and I. Shut up! I don't need a stupid lecture from you! And I certainly don't need him. Muse. Hold on. We... There is nothing left for us to discuss here. You already know that. Oh, man. What's happening? Oh, At Maxwell. last I have found you. I shall sever the link between the temporal crossroads and the outside world. Leave those two to me. You fool. How dare you, Maxwell? Do you intend to just seal us away in here? Wait a minute, Maxwell. What about all of Muse's power? I will annihilate this space once I have severed the link. She will have no time to use her power. Hold on! Our friends are still here, too! I am sorry, but it is too late for them. This is our last chance. What will happen to the schism? When this space collapses, the schism should vanish. Why? Damn you, Maxwell! Why do you always do this? You say, I regret putting you through this ordeal. Shut up! I won't let you take everything from me again! must return to the outside world. You insolent little... Stop Maxwell! Use a weight! You oh. will face me now! Oh, crap! Watch out, I everyone. have to apologize. In advance. No need for your apologies, since we won't be defeated. <laughs> Interesting. We shall see if there is any truth to your words. Ah, yeah. Stop! No! Grab here! Grab here! Die! It's over. I'll get over here. Ah! Now! Ah! 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 Ah, well, yikes. Are, am I supposed to beat Gaius with the, with the, uh, 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 this is impossible. There's no way. Okay, let's do it again. I have to apologize in advance. No need for your apology, since we won't be defeated. Interesting. We shall see if there is any truth to your words. We got it. Uh, I don't uh, think so. Now. Ruination phase! We found you! 
gonna wait till it runs out. Yeah. This hard difficulty. <laughs> Go! 
Gaius! He probably went to Muse. Let's go. The others must be around here somewhere, too. Right. Alright, put this back on. Sun Falcon. One wrong step and it's all over. True. But isn't that sort of danger just business as usual at this point? What was that? Splash. Is this just a dead end? Yep. Hey do hey do. Or you just jumped out from there. Ugh, durr. Temporal Terminus. Am I all ready? Whew. I think I am. Actually, yeah, let's go. Cool let's do it. Oh, it's time to duel. Maxwell. Freaking Maxwell. You fools. Why have you come? Because you suck. Music. Grant me strength! Sword from chest trope! <laughs> Gaius! Muse! Ooh, you know he dead. I don't understand! Why do you keep trying to stop us? I warn you. Keep this up, and you will lose the person who is most dear to you. If I run, I won't be able to face her. Then I would really lose her. Mila, you already have something important to protect. And I can't let him see me back down. Ooh. Dual confessions? So I won't. I won't run! And I will fight! Your resolve's commendable. And I have no intention to stray from my path in any way either. Super Gaius. The time has come. We shall see whose path continues. Into the future! Okay. Obviously, I need to take out Muse first. Swar, there's no need to hold back any longer. Muse! Yes! Ah! I shall be the so blade scared. that leads you to victory! We'll have to face them both. It would be nearly impossible alone. However, we're not alone! Now that I have Gaius, I have what you have. You won't stand a chance. Let's see how long you're able to last against us. Uh. We'll last until we defeat you. Let's do this, Mila. Time to finish. Ah! Okay, well. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. 
Uh, I know how this is gonna play out. So, honestly, the play here is freaking no run. To hold back any longer. Music. Yes. I shall be the blade that leads you to victory. We'll have to face the I literally just have to run right now. Oh my god. How about all divide? Aha! We're not alone. Now that I have Gaia, I have what you have, you won't stand a chance. Let's see how long you're able to last against us. We'll last until we defeat you. Let's do this, Mila. Time to finish this. Mila, run. There it is. Hey, let me handle this. Open your eyes and witness your final demise. Terminus Prime! Who's next? Hey, did it keep you waiting? You sure did. <laughs> No pleasant greetings? Why do you go against Gaius? Don't you see that he is just... Let's just say I got tired of betraying everyone. Liar! I'm not. I know this is where I belong. And I'm not ready to part with it yet. Let's do this! Yes! Bam! Bam! You ready for this? Glad you're okay. Got some healers now. Are you ever gonna stop worrying about me? Someday. But for now, we can use your help. Okay. Why do you fight against us when you know very well the instability of Spyrite? It's simple. I'm living my life as I see fit. And what matters to me is being here with everyone. There's not much else to it. Yeah! Here! Yeah. I can do this! Lockdown target! Charge complete! Fire! It's gonna hurt! I'm home! Here I go down! We made it! Hey, you guys still alive? We were waiting for you, Jill. I'll provide support! Let's do this, Amy! You were kept alive as a puppet for the benefit of others. You know my pain. We do! We really, really do! But I finally uh. found my own reasons to live. Don't want to lose these feelings. That's enough for me. Love you. Finding fear. Stop making the heinous and cagey immoral. Now, shall we begin? Defender. Grand Valley. I have arrived. We were waiting for you. I must say, it feels good when others rely upon you. Truly a pity. Of all people, I expected you to at least follow the right path. You expected too much from me. I am no different from everyone else here. So be it. Your age won't matter when I strike you down. I plan to see the future. I hate to break expectation again, but I will not do it. Go, Chief! Uh, sharing is caring! Go, Chipo! Oh. Sharing is caring! Farewell! Let's end it! Okay! Ready! 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 All beginning, not then. Let it be by my hand. Elemental mastery. How dare you? How dare you? Get up! 
healing. Screw it. She got Gaius. This is true power. Demon's Bane. I'll rip you apart. Let's become one. Ah. Awaken. The Inferno cries out into oblivion. Absolute domination. It can't end here. Yeah. 
So slowly. Yeah, I'll rip you apart. Awaken. The inferno cries out into oblivion. Absolute domination. Five Mira. Not yet. So worry. So worry. Ah, Judas confused too. Why? Healing. Screw it. After Gaius. Incineration 
Confusion a thing. Do I have it over here too? There, chrono symbol. Jeez. <laughs> oh man. Let's become one. Strike! Still fight! Onward! Now! 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 Now!
Oh my goodness. No more healing for you, Jose. You ready? Of course. I'll rip you apart. Right here. Please keep them away. All beginning. Not stand. Let it be. By my hand. I will not go back. Okay. 
Oh my god. Angels cry? You have got to be kidding me. This chick is insane! Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is impossible, how am I supposed to- Well, 70... How? Okay. Is the hourglass effect in... you know what? I mean, not the hourglass, the all divine. Here. Okay, it was the all is it over yes oh no doubt God. about it victory's Kick. ours we did it Mila. yes it's finally over 25 fucking minutes. <laughs> oh, God. Maxwell! Once again, it's all gone. I've lost everything. Your vision of the future offers nothing but suffering to the people. Whether spy rights are perfected or not. Even if we unite the two worlds, it is pure fantasy to think that they will cooperate with one another. Maybe you're right. Maybe my dreams for the future are hopelessly naive. But still... Mila never stopped believing in me. And so did you, Gaius. Didn't you? And what does any of that matter now? I may appear to be talking tough now, but I was scared witless throughout this entire journey. I'm still just a small, frail human. But you know what? I will get stronger. I want... I want you to believe in me. Humans strive to become stronger. They constantly struggle to grow more for the sake of others. They rise to the occasion. This fills me with hope for the future, one that is filled with possibilities. I cherish it. I know you understand this, Gaius. I do not. When all of these possibilities of yours evaporate, I will then be forced to rise again. You won't have to do anything. Music. 
If living alone is too painful for you, then come join us. Thank you. I see that you have made up your mind. Yes. Mila. What are you talking about? I have decided to become Maxwell. <laughs> so that was your plan. Now, if you so desire, Mila, you may use the schism's manner to become human again. I see. Keep watch over the spirits. Wait! Jude, I'm afraid this is farewell. Our fates were always intertwined in mysterious ways. Thank you for everything. Hold on! I... <laughs> I'm sorry for all the times I was weak. But now, I think I'm going to be just fine. What the hell is this? You never told us! I'm ready. Holding lewd! Mila, everything's alright. From now on, I am Mila Maxwell, the Lord of the Spirits. I will be okay. Alvin's bird. I got your letter. But I can't say that I have very much to report. What a big knucklehead. Drinks are on you now. Well, maybe one thing. A friend invited me to start a business with him. We're thinking of ways to connect Riza Maxia and Olympias. Doesn't sound like me though, huh? Here's to a great partnership. Don't forget to swing by and say hi. I have big news! I'm no longer pursuing nursing. So for now, I'm helping out at my family's lodge.
Are you okay there, Leia? Sure. Thanks a lot, Dad. You two, uh, quit goofing uh, around! Yes, ma'am! But I do have a dream now. Uh, I'm sorry I sat on the street, honey! I want to settle down and start a family that cares for each other. Just like Mom and Dad. Not with Jude. <laughs> I'll definitely do my best. I don't know if things will work out, but I've got to try. Sleep tight. Tipo, no! Ellie! Your friends are here! Okay, I'm coming! I have news. I'm going to the same school that Trisal graduated from. What do you think of him? I even made some oh, friends there, um, but I'm still not better. very comfortable when it comes to talking. <laughs> You're so funny, Elise. Even so, I still love being able to spend time with them. Gaius awaits the day when the promise we made to him becomes a reality. For my part, I am enjoying my new life here. Very well then, that concludes today's lesson. This is what I was meant to do. What about Jude and Mila? Uh, probably in like after the credits. Ooh. <laughs> Twenty minute battle. Ah uh, well, uh, see, it's probably because of that all divide. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely because of all divide. But I probably want for sure would would have died if it wasn't for the all divide, <laughs> like multiple times. Oh. Oh, uh, that was a good game. Hmm. There are parts. The Chimera... <laughs> they didn't have to die, honestly. They really didn't have to. Because <laughs> Gaius wasn't even a villain. He was um, an antagonist. That's right, not a villain. Their deaths are just unnecessary. Well, except for Zhao. Zhao is a sacrifice. Casualty of war. But the other three, they really didn't need to. Pressa, though. Oh, poor Alvin. Uh, and then, oh, Carrie. Poor Rowan. Man, there's just no love in this. <laughs> no one is allowed to love. Uh, <laughs> Rowan, nope. Alvin, nope. Jude, no. <laughs> They're separated. Oh. The Idol Master Project? Oh, it's because there are Idol Master. There's a lot of costumes that didn't make it to the North American release, unfortunately. It's only, Jap only in Japan. There's like Code Geass costumes. And, oh. It looks great, but I wish I could get them. But, uh... but speaking of the Japanese version, Mila's voice actor is Sawashiro Miyuki. I wish I could listen to that so bad. <laughs> Best voice actor. Was that it? Fenmont. No. Hey. Sorry about that. I gotta hurry. I'm glad that all of you are doing so well. I've been swamped with my spyrite research lately. Hey. Sorry. And the results. Well, they've been mixed. Still, slowly but surely, more and more people are beginning to realize the spyrite's potential.
to Mira. How's that bird gonna get to the spirit world? Mila. Huh? She's watching over you, Jude. We can change. This world can change, and so can I. Azilia, that is it. Finn. Wait, so Mila died and turned into a spirit. Does that mean when? Does that mean? Or is it, mm, does that mean anyone who dies turns into a spirit? Or was it just Mila's special case? And if that's the case, maybe when Jude dies, he can turn into a spirit. <sighs> Not bad at all. Wait, Temple Crossroads? Oh, well, I guess that's fine. Uh, go back to Mila. Or Mila... Oh, uh, Nikara. Any post-game yeah. stuff? Fruity noodles conquer all! Leia, if I may be so bold, you have a piece of seaweed and a watermelon seed stuck near your lips. <laughs> Awkward. Is there anything sub events? The gathering my asthma? Yeah, there's some um, there's extra. There's an extra dungeon, or like a post-game dungeon. And I don't know. That's like whatever. I'm not too interested in doing that. I swear, there's more stuff to do, but there's no prompts. How am I supposed to... Hmm. The Elder's Plea? No. 
Those who act in shadow. Presta has left behind a letter addressed to Alvin. I want to know how to do that. Where am I supposed to go for that? I don't know. They already went to every place. Maybe this. <laughs> Doubtful. You never know. this? Oh! Twenty-three jewels? Is that what the mysterious jewels are for? Oh. I'm pretty sure it's a boss fight. <laughs> yeah, it's a, this is a boss fight. <laughs> Gathering my asthma, party stumble upon some miasma laying to tailing an abyss. Uh, uh, one of the devil's beasts. Helioborg Fortress. Yeah, let's try going there. Happening. No oh. way! I can see now. Thank you so much. Oh, really? That's wonderful. Wait, aren't you from Riza Maxia? You all are too. How did you get here? Hey, can you believe it? I can see now. It's all thanks to this spyrite this lady made for me. They're already making spyrites. This must be Balin's doing. This place is amazing! We're getting some very valuable data here, all thanks to the cooperation of these Riza Maxians. Have you learned something? Oh yes, many things. For example, we've confirmed that Olympians and Riza Maxians are biologically identical. Really? But I thought Olympians didn't have nanolobes. As it turns out, Olympians have the same nanolobe region that Riza Maxians do. The only difference is that ours has devolved to the point where it no longer functions. Makes sense. Sometimes you got the lucky ones who can still use arts without Spyrex. It's very, very rare, of course. They're usually famous entertainers or religious figures. So why did your mana lobes devolve in the first place? One reason is that we no longer needed to use them once we developed Spyrex. But the biggest reason... ...is that Maxwell took all the people with developed mana lobes when he created Riza Maxia. Correct. In Legends, this is referred to as the Great Departure. When Riza Maxia's existence was confirmed, and we learned that the legend was true, it was a huge surprise, not just in scientific circles, but to all people of Olympias. So basically, we're all the same kind of human, and we're all from the same world, right? Then I'm sure we can all work together, just like you guys are doing here. I don't look happy. What? What's the matter? Wait a minute. How did these people get to Olympias? Well, I, uh... Given the current circumstances, 
there is only one possible explanation. They were brought here under duress after your military invaded Riza Maxia, correct? What's duress? As an Olympian, I apologize for the actions of our military. But I promise you their rights have not been violated. They're cooperating with us of their own free will. <sighs> what else could we do? There's no way for us to go home. Really? I kind of like it here, to be honest with you. Back there, I was just a fisherman. But here, I can help save an entire world. If this research succeeds, the repercussions will be huge. Right, Dr. Balin? Absolutely. And I'll make sure you're properly rewarded for your cooperation. We don't need your rewards. Just get us back to Riza Maxia. Ugh. I know what we're doing here could help the people of this world. But is it so crucial that you had to rob us of our lives? Uh, I know we're acting very selfish here, I, I do understand. But we Olympians are quickly reaching a point where we may not survive without help. Please, help us. I'm sorry. No, I shouldn't have said that. This shouldn't have been one of the first things for you to see. I'm sorry. Mm. I've never seen Balin so desperate. But the Riza Maxians do have a point. Yeah. In the end, we're all human. I guess that's what makes this so difficult. What, so Rowan brought that dude back, but not these Rize Maxians? Poison Stinger. Uh, Seriously, you know what? I'm, I'm actually just searching it up, honestly. Okay, uh, Zilia. Oh. Okay, apparently... Yeah, this is another con about the game. It doesn't really tell you where to go for these side quests. You just have to kind of explore everywhere you go. It's, it's kind of dumb. Have to explore everywhere. There it is. That's so dumb. I've been away for quite some time. Has anything significant happened here? Lord Maxwell, you've returned. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Ivor around lately. Do you know where he might be? Who Ivor? cares? He must have run off somewhere without my permission again. That's probably because of me. Sorry about that. Hmm. I see. But I don't think that's something for you to apologize for. Indeed. It was the result of a showdown that needed to take place. Thank you. There's one more thing, Lord Maxwell. One of the young folk found this at the base of the Holomont. It's a letter addressed to someone named Al. Ooh. Al? That would be me. No one saw who might have left it? No, there was no sign of anyone at all. Go ahead. It sounds like it's for your eyes only. Dear, Dear Al. Al. 
I never, I never expected, expected that, that you would return, return to me. me. As someone who has endured betrayal her whole life, to have my expectations betrayed so sweetly was, for once, a great kindness. But if you're reading this letter now, it means that in choosing to live my life as Pressa, I have chosen to betray you. I am truly sorry. Pressa. Alvin! Let's go. Pressa's team was wiped out because of information I acquired by deceiving her. And yet, the last thing she said was that she was worried about me. Me. The guy who cost her everything. Somehow she knew I would go back to you all. I can't believe it. You can stay here for as long as you need. But come back when you're ready. We'll wait for you. I'm going to keep at it. I'll protect all that you've given me. Goodbye, Jill. That was always my favorite name, you know. Jill. Huh. All right, what else is there? Uh. Poetry and dictionaries. Travel everywhere. Yeah, it's probably in this room. Ugh. There it is. Bit flushed. Shifting spirit climbs. How do I finish this? I mean, I don't even care about this. It's so this is such a boring one. Ah. Go back to the woman who told you about them in the first place. Hey there. I remember you. You're the geographer who was studying spirit climb changes. That's right. 
And I think that hypothesis I told you about just might be correct. They say the soldiers that came from the flying ships broke through a wall in the sky to get here. Think about that. A wall that surrounds our entire world. That kind of power could easily affect spirit climbs. The schism. The schism? Ooh, I like that name. Okay, let's refer to this wall as the schism. The next problem is, where did the schism come from? The questions never end. But that's why I love science. Yeah. All right, is that it? Okay, this one, yeah, yeah. At least because of Pinkest in the end or something. Chew Pinkest. Sure. Alright, I think that's it. Okay, wowzer. <laughs> that was Tales of Cilia. Not bad, not bad. Ugh. So, next time, Tales of Cilia 2. Oh, I am ready for that. Until then, thanks to anyone who tuned in for this finale, and we'll see you next time on Tales of Zillia 2! The better one, well, better, well, better quality of life changes for sure. I can dash in that game, and, you know, that's all you need. <laughs> Until then, see you all next time. Bye.